All right, so this video, we're going to talk about what this EQ right here, this essential question is uh, asking us. How to use factoring to find roots or x-intercepts of quadratic functions. Important thing there is x-intercepts. So first, let's talk about well, what are x-intercepts even. So let's say I've got, I don't know, some function looks like this, right? This function would have one, two, three x-intercepts, right? Well, where do the x-intercepts happen? Well, no, duh, they happen on the x inter the x axis rather. Uh, but where is the x axis? It happens at y equals zero, right? So we find x intercepts, aka roots of functions. We find the x intercepts of functions wherever y is equal to zero. So again, the implication here, because we're talking about something equal to zero is that we can use the zero product principle. I've circled it so many times over the last few videos. Uh, anyway, so here's an example. So we've got a function f of x equals 3x squared minus x minus 10. Okay, so we're going to do these three things to kind of get an idea of what this picture would look like and just to kind of put to use the zero product principle to help us find these x-intercepts, right? And we can put it all together uh, pretty simply. So first, let's factor 3x squared minus x minus 10. So a is not equal to 1. It hardly ever is, but, you know, in this case, it's not again. So 3 times negative 10. So ac is negative 30. And we're looking for the factors of negative 30. That will give me a negative 1. So I know that's going to be negative 6 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and say 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 10 equals f of x. Okay, group and factor. So on the left, factor out of 3x, uh, brain fart. And on the right, factor out a 5, a positive 5, so plus 5x minus 2 also. Okay, GCF of X minus two. When I factor out that GCF, I'm left with another factor of three X plus five. Okay, so did this, cool enough. Okay, so what are the Y intercepts of F? Okay, so if we're talking about Y intercepts, well, what does that mean? Well, y-intercepts happen where a function touches the y-axis, right? And that happens where x is equal to 0, okay? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to replace every instance of x with 0. Y-intercepts happen... At x equals 0, so I'm going to pretend I've got 3 times 0 squared minus 0 minus 10. Well, this all zeroes out. So 0 squared is 0 times 3 is 0 minus 0 is 0. I'm left with just a negative 10. So that means my y-intercept happens uh, at negative 10. Okay, we're going to hang on to that. It's going to help us draw our picture. And now let's look at, okay, well, what are the x-intercepts of f, right? And we just said at the beginning of this video that x-intercepts happen at y equals 0 or f equals 0. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this f of x with a 0 instead. Okay, and when I do that, it's no different than what I was doing in the previous video where we were solving equations, right, using the zero product principle and factoring. So one of my x-intercepts happens at 2. The other one is going to happen at, well, let's set this individually equal to 0. Minus 5 divided by 3, x is equal to negative 5 over 3. Okay, and just for, you know, kind of a frame of reference, 
that's going to be a little bit less than two. That's going to be negative 1.67, we'll pretend. Okay, it's about that. All right, so now let's use that to draw this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my key numbers. So there's X, here's Y. And we know that we have a Y intercept at uh, Y is negative 10. So let's go ahead and say negative 10 is down here. And that's where we touch the Y axis. And we know that we have X intercepts at two and about negative 1.67. So two, let's say is right here and about negative 1.67 or five over three, negative five thirds. Okay, so there's my zeros, right? And it's gonna be a little bit off, but I can kind of make this work. It's gonna look something like this. Okay, and if I was smart, I would have pulled up a Desmos window, but I think I'm only sharing the screen and it's not going to let me do that. But anyway, yeah, we get a pretty good idea of what this picture is going to look like if you call this a pretty good idea. Uh, and very simply, right, we see how we use zero product principle to find things like X intercepts, Y intercepts, right? Get an idea of what a graph is going to look like. Okay. So if you have any questions over any of this, uh, or if you want to see a better representation than my crappy art skills here, uh, shoot me an email and or come and see me. Goodbye.